What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Virus from Virus Beats, Shadow Blade. Y'all know the names. But there is something I really need to put out there that's really just got me anked up more than anything. Like, this is something that's really fucking, it's bullshit. Like, and I am literally calling out a bunch of motherfuckers on this. Um, some of them are on my friends list. Some of them ain't. I don't give a fuck if you are on my friends list or not. If you're a producer and you're charging 30 40 and above, this is calling your ass out. I'm putting you on the fucking spot because I'm tired of seeing this shit. So, anyways, y'all, there's something that, like, this is really pissing me off. This is something I've been seeing quite a bit of. Like, this is seriously fucking, this is bullshit. So, let's get down to what we need to talk about. And that is motherfuckers overcharging for selling beats. If you guys don't know, I've been producing beats literally since I began music. That's how I got my start producing beats. And then I naturally, you know, transferred into vocal work and, you know, ultimately doing, you know, EDM and dub stuff. But my start began with producing beats. That's where I got my start. And this is calling out every single one of you sons of bitches that overcharge. Like, I know y'all need to make a living, but dude, 50 fucking bucks for a beat? Even for a lease? That's fucked up, because what y'all don't realize is not a lot of motherfuckers have that kind of goddamn money. Like, well, your average artist doesn't carry around that kind of money. I know what y'all are wanting. You're wanting a quick buck. You're wanting to get rich quick. Well, sorry, dude. It don't motherfucking work like that. That getting rich quick shit, it don't fly. If y'all want to make an honest living, do like I'm doing. You know? Like, an artist wants a beat for me. If they want one beat, it's a dollar a beat. Or if they want to purchase an entire album... It's $5 for a pack of beats, ranging from 7 to 10 beats. It's only $5, and you can preview the beat, and you get all rights to it. You can preview every beat before you fucking buy it. That's what y'all motherfuckers should be doing, instead of fucking charging an arm and a leg to artists that don't have that kind of fucking cash. And y'all sit there and look stupid. Yeah. All right, one minute, guys. I'll be right back. If you guys do agree with this, share this around. Like I said, guys, share this around, please. Put it out there. Because I'm tired of motherfuckers like me getting ripped off by these assholes. So, one minute.
What up, y'all? I'm back. Sorry about that. But, like, you know, like I was saying, man. You know, like, it just, it completely baffles me and confuses me as to how y'all can expect to make any kind of real money if you charge $40, $50, $60 for a lease and then $100 plus dollars to buy the beat rights and all. If you ask me, y'all motherfuckers are scam artists. Like, legitimately guys like you guys are ripping people off like motherfuckers like me are trying to make an honest living producing beats so that we can support our careers and what we really want to do like i got a million motherfuckers lined up that when they get the money they are going to wind up buying beats from me and you want to know why because i don't overcharge five dollars a beat all rights go to you. No leasing whatsoever. You guys get the beats flat out. And the only thing I ask is that when you produce on the beat is that you put bought from or produced by originally. And then put my name on there. That's all I ask. Yes, you get all the rights to the beat. All you got to do is tell people, hey, this is where I bought it. This is who I bought it from. Like, if I was a customer, that's what I would do. Like, if I was an artist buying a beat, I'd be like, yo, like, if somebody asked me, like, hey, where'd you get that dope-ass beat? I could be like, yo, I bought it from this guy. You know, here's his link. Check him out. I highly recommend him. So, y'all motherfuckers that are overcharging, your five seconds of fame is up. Y'all need to stop overcharging motherfuckers and start doing it the right way and work your asses off to get where you're at. Like, 40, 50, 60 bucks for a lease? Are you fucking kidding me? Do you really think somebody's going to pay that fucking much for a high-end beat when they can get a beat that's just as good from somebody like me for a cheaper price? Like, y'all are fucked up in the head. Y'all need to start lowering your prices and start thinking business smart. Because y'all fuckers are thinking nothing but money. You guys aren't thinking business smart. You guys aren't thinking, gee, how much is the customer willing to pay for a beat in reality? Yeah, in y'all's minds, you're thinking, hey, you know, this person will buy it for this much and then I can go out and buy these new Jordans or whatever. And, and that's all well and good. I get that you want to buy those new shoes, but dude, be smart about it. Be fucking business smart. Not just money smart. Be business smart. Lower your prices. Sell your beats for the right fucking price. Because like I said, I sell my beats in packs of 7 to 10. For $5 a piece. Rights and all. And you can preview the beats. And if you decide you want to buy that beat individually. It's a dollar a beat. That's the smart way to do it. Not fucking leasing it out for $50. And then having somebody buy it flat out for $150. That's not business smart. Y'all ain't thinking. Y'all young kids are out there thinking. Oh, I'm going to get rich quick off of these beats. I'm going to do this and that. I'm going to get all the girls and blah, blah, blah. Well, sorry, homie. It don't work like that. You got to be fucking smart about what you're doing. If you want to make a real living off of what you're doing, follow what I'm doing. Follow my template of what I'm doing and go from there and make it work in your own way. Don't sit there and charge $50, $60, $100 for a fucking beat. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, you know, you guys sit there and think that you're going to just get rich quick off this bullshit when you're not. You got to work your ass off. It's not just going to be handed to you. Because let me tell you something. I had to work my ass off 
for three to four years just producing beats just to get good. I busted my motherfucking ass day and night to get as good as I am at producing beats for four years straight. I produced beats every motherfucking day, whether they were good, whether they were shitty. You know, that's what I did to get as good as I am. That's why I'm so good at combining several different styles and making them work as one beat. Like, that's why I'm as good as I am. Because I put more time and effort into producing beats and learning how to do it correctly than most motherfuckers would do in a year. I've worked my ass off to get where I'm at for producing. Exactly, Sam. Thank you. I agree with that 110%, and that is very true. But, you know, I didn't have anybody to fucking teach me how to create beats. I had to learn on my own. No help. None of that. I had to learn by trial and error. I had to learn by watching videos, by taking what I learned and applying it, by busting my ass, figuring out for myself what works and what doesn't work. I had to learn for myself how to make them from the ground up. And yeah, I'll admit because I don't have a regular laptop, you know, I have to use samples and do it that way. But so what? A beat's a fucking beat. No matter how you cut it, no matter how you slice it, at the end of the day, an instrumental or a beat is still an instrumental or a beat. It's all the motherfucking same. It don't matter whether you sample it or whether you start from the ground up. And yes, I can do it from scratch via FL Studios, but like I said, I cannot do that at this time because I have a Chromebook, not a regular computer. So I have to make do with what I've got. But at the end of the day, y'all motherfuckers are acting like y'all are hot shit just because you're charging 50, 60, 70 bucks for a beat. Well, guess what? You're not hot shit. You're dumb shit. You're a fucking dipshit for that stuff, dude. So y'all young kids out there thinking y'all are hot shit by charging this much? Y'all need to rethink your fucking strategy or find another career. Y'all need to learn how to do business smart stuff or get the fuck out of music. Because if you're charging an arm and a leg, you don't belong in the motherfucking music industry. If you're charging $50, $60, $100 for a beat, you're overcharging. Like, you're really overcharging. And to be honest, yes, I do watch business type shows like Shark Tank, um, even shows like Bar Rescue. I learned a lot of business smart stuff from that, as well as studying videos and articles on how to do it properly. And that's how I developed the business side of things that I developed. That's how I developed the strategy that I've got right now. Because I studied it. I made it work. I learned what the customer is willing to pay, how much they're willing to pay. Y'all are overcharging way too much. If y'all want to make real money, lower your prices, stop acting like motherfucking hot shit, and learn how to do shit the right way. So like I said, you want to be successful as a producer, then here's what you do. Follow my template. Lower your prices to 5 to $10 or 20 depending. But follow my template, you guys. Lower your prices down to 5 to $10, you know, for a pack of beads or for a bead, it don't matter which. And then allow the artist to preview the entire beat in its entirety so they can get a good feel of it. So they can decide on whether they want to buy the entire pack or just that one beat. And if they want to buy just that one beat, 
charge two, three, one, two, three dollars for it. But leave your main price at five to ten dollars. Because I guarantee you, you do that, you're gonna have hundreds and hundreds of artists knocking at your door. I guarantee fucking see it. So be fucking smart, y'all. Stop being fucking dumb and thinking you're gonna get rich quick because you're not. At the end of the day, you're going to have to put in just as much work, just as much time, and just as much motherfucking effort. So like I said, y'all want to be successful as a music producer and sell your beats for a living? Follow my template. Follow what I do. That's the best thing you could possibly do, guys. So with that being said, guys, I'm out of here. I'm about to hop on to the main page where I'm seeing all this and talk about it on there if y'all want to join me. So I'll catch y'all later. Peace.